What's happening guys, it's Bird Knockout for iGandard in and today we're going to be checking out gaming on the new HTC Butterfly S. Now this is a revision to the original HTC Butterfly and it also brings along a lot of features from the HTC One which is their current flagship for this year. The HTC Butterfly sort of overtakes the HTC One and becomes the new flagship thanks to all the features on the inside of the device. We do have a 1.9 GHz quad-core Snapdragon chipset on the inside along with the new Adreno 320 GPU. We also get a fantastic 5-inch 1080p display, so that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. And you also have 16GB of inbuilt storage and expandability via micro SD card. You get 2 gigs of RAM and an extensive array of games that work with this device. Now, out of the box, Snapdragon is not supported by games like Asphalt 8. Uh, they're still working on giving out a Snapdragon version. So we weren't able to test that out, but we'll start off with two basic arcade games and then we'll talk about two slightly higher end games and we'll be making more gaming reviews for this device. So let's start off with Subway Surfers. Now this is a very basic game and a lot of people mostly play arcade games on their device. So this is the general trend that we are going to follow. Subway Surfers works great. You have great fantastic audio thanks to the boom sound speakers at the front. Uh, the touchscreen response is fantastic and the overall gameplay experience is really good. Check a bit of the gameplay. The next game we are checking out is Jetpack Joyride. With Jetpack Joyride, you have a lot of fun just tapping on the screen and seeing the response and you get exactly that. Graphics are laid out beautifully and the overall response from the game is almost instantaneous. You'll actually enjoy playing arcade games on this device. It's really fantastic thanks to the great audio and the great visual experience that you get with this device. Moving along, we check out Real Racing 3. Now, Real Racing 3 adjusts itself according to the device that it's on. And on the new HTC Butterfly, you see full graphics, you see full reflections, all sorts of animations. You have shadows at the bottom of the car. Uh, you get proper smoke and you get lots of detail within the game itself. The game response is really, really smooth and the audio playback is great. So watch a bit of the gameplay and see the Real Racing gameplay experience. The last game for this video is going to be Grand Theft Auto. Now GTA 3 also adjusts itself according to the device that it's on and with the HTC Butterfly S we saw no load up times. Even at a distance you can see the full map being loaded. You don't see any graphics missing from the overall gameplay experience. That means this device is more than enough to power this whole game. Watch a bit of the gameplay and judge for yourself. cleared of corruption charges in a controversial decision by the courts. Let's hope those missing witnesses turn up safe and sound. Lips 106. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy In conclusion, we like to say the HTC Butterfly S can survive mostly all games on the Google Play Store, especially the ones that do work with this device. If Asphalt 8 becomes compatible with Snapdragon chipsets, 
we feel that it'll work really well on the HTC Butterfly S. Now, the fact that this device is upwards of 50,000 rupees, you have lots of other options in the market available today, which we'll be reviewing in the coming days. So stay tuned for those. Wait for the second version of the gameplay video. You can also catch out more details on iGAN.in, catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. For iGAN Networks, it's me, Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching.